Right. So, uh, in today's session, we are going to discuss about uh, the guideway development. Because, as we all know, whenever we are working on, because yesterday I have given an introduction about uh, property and casualty insurance. At the same time, even I have explained about what guideware application is all about and why guideware, at the same time, how guideware framework looks like. At the same time, architecture of guideware was explained even. Now, as far as the role of a developer itself is concerned, normally there will be three different roles we see in guideware as far as the job market is concerned, because you are all the people uh, moving towards job market. So you need to understand guideware in three different things. One is about the guideware business analyst roles, R1. Second, guideware developer roles will be there. At the same time, guideware tester roles will be there. Right? There are three different roles. Now you are learning guideware development, because if you are a business analyst, your job responsibility is majorly focusing on requirement gathering, right? So understanding the business rules, right? So all these things is what something being a BA you have to do. And some kind of admin activities has to be performed. But when it comes to the tester role itself is concerned, whoever is testing the application, because normally we use Gosu as a programming language. So using Gosu programming language, how do we require to test the application is what something which normally we do. Now, when it comes to the development role, especially if you are a BA, normally uh, as a developer, right? So if you are not a BA, as a, as a developer role, as a guideware developer, there are few skill sets which we are learning in, in, in coming days. Uh, what is that you want to acquire is this, because I could see some people who are, belongs to non-IT even, right? So because some people who are IT, I could see, right? So two, three, I think two, three people were IT and the remaining people who are non-IT. So right from the basics of programming is always helpful if you want to moving on to the guideware developer roles. The major responsibility is as follows. The first one about when it comes to the guideware developer, you must be having a knowledge over integration and as well as configuration because configuring according to the business rules and government mandates, whatever is required for the organization is what something which we have to be performed. That's where generally we into guideware developer role, we must be knowing about the configuration because configuring may not be all the modules because we have three. Yesterday I told you. One is about policy center, billing and claims. Some organizations may require uh, uh, using, uh, <clears throat> uh, they may require to use uh, uh, billing, right? So or else some organizations want to use it for claim purposes or policy center, either one, two or three, right? So the, of their, their choice. So when they are, <clears throat> wants to configure this application, so they must be able in a position to understand how this configuration will be taken place. Configuring not only the uh, user interfaces and all, the kind of workflows you are going to create based upon the kind of business rules which is given by the business analyst. Configuration part is what something which we have to be good with. Next, we must be knowing with the integration part as well. Because let's say Guideware is an application we are connecting to some CRM application, something like Salesforce, or else it can be Microsoft, it can be um, Microsoft Dynamics, right? So MS Dynamics, all that stuff, right? So this is also one of the uh, key thing. This is all comes under the integration part, means integrating from Guideware application to uh, another application, another CRM application, wherein effective customer relationship management can be done by us. Next, we should able in a position to design and modify the existing workflows. Sometime back, I told you, that's what I said because we should able in a position to design the guideware workflow according to the business rules which is given by the which is given by the business analyst at the same time if there is any changes in modifications required for us to take in place we have to do it as well mm -hmm. next we should have a knowledge over the web services etc because web services xml is also one of the uh, key and important element wherein we have to be focused more on so whatever the uh, web services like by implementing web services we have three different things we have 
so protocol implementation we do whenever we are connecting to apis there are different apis we use like web api um, at the same time uh, uh, even restful api right so soap api is all that that's all something which we do at the same time uh, uh, even about XML part, because different different file formats of XML will be there. So XML file formats are also one of the key and important element. At the same time, having a knowledge over DX models or messaging, this is also one of the key thing you need to be good with. Next is data models, different data data models and all. As a guide web developer, you must be good at goes to scripting and programming. This is also one of the key and important element we must be good with. Next is about SQL part. We must be knowing about what is SQL and understanding about the queries of SQL. At the same time, some kind of application server knowledge, either it can be JBoss or web server, because application server are important. Even web service, Tomcat web servers are required. And one more important thing, which are we going to discuss apart from all this is about API because that's what something which I told you, because REST API is what generally the client which normally we see. Normally, if you can see here on the screen where this REST API client provides all the functionalities, whatever is required for the guideware insert suit application, which is majorly uh, used to make whatever the outbound HTTP calls and as less uh, open API specification complaint REST services and all that. Using these clients, which enables loosely coupled uh, external code, which is to be invoked uh, when we are uh, uh, working on the application, wherein we require different different libraries like client plugin or client library, all these things we have to be used with. So when we are using these client plugins and all, uh, because client libraries, different different features like code and code generations and all everything at the same time goes to implementation we have to do. Followed by this being into guideware developer role where we must be able in a position to perform fault tolerancing with using uh, different different fault tolerancing uh, options like uh, retry, circuit breaker, right? So fallback, et cetera. At the same time, logging and traceability followed by authentication processes. So either it can be OAuth authentication, OAuth 2.0 or something of that sort, right? So this is also OAuth 2.0. All these things are required IPA because I have made a separate video on OAuth 2.0. So I may be posting uh, uh, that video for you. You can have a glance over rope through point two. Again, anyway, in the class itself, I'm uh, I'll I'll be repeating you both two point two also. So authentication authorizations both part right. So that is something. At the same time, need to have uh, some knowledge over the XML part when it comes to the XML formats, right? So at the same time, XML or uh, JSON formats followed by the JSON tools, right? So all the same at the same time, both implementation, both authentications and all everything we do. At the same time, whatever the business logic we are implementing, wherein when it comes to the REST API clients itself is concerned, we are going to call upon libraries. Either it can be REST client runtime or it can be Apache HTTP client or resilience. These are the different API clients wherein we call HTTP calls and we connect to other external services. So this is overall understanding over the guideware developer. So if you are a guideware developer, most of the things which you'll be learning is from the practical, technical point of view. It is not something to do with functional all the time. Of course, knowledge over the functionalities about policy center building claims is required. Additionally, apart from that major role and major responsibilities you need to be rendered about the development perspective. So it's always one of the programming language called Gosu is one of the programming language which normally we use. It is almost base of uh, Java because the person who is having experience on Java, uh, it is easy for them. But uh, but in, in, anyway, we need to learn from object-oriented programming. You need to start learning from object-oriented programming. So then it will be uh, more helpful for us to uh, get it because as I already told you in the beginning, I could see some of the people who are from non-IT. So for developer role, always better from learning from the programming basics, right? From object-oriented programming. That's what something which I'm going to explain from tomorrow onwards. So object-oriented programming, what are the different data types we have, right? So what are the different different conditions do we have for loop, right? So while loop, right? So different different conditions you need to learn. Then go, go to programming, how to write the code, go to programming using multiple editors. 
because we use different different editors like my eclipse and all everything will be used to um, uh, will be used to write the code and execute the code this is what something which we are going to learn learn from tomorrow it's okay right so if you have any questions please go ahead